Hi there, I'm Matt Montgomery. I'm part of the agronomic team here at Bex. Today, I'm in a field of corn that actually looks really, really good, but a recent windstorm knocked down this little patch. And so I thought we might talk just a little bit about why corn falls over like this. We might talk about the critical pinch point where this story doesn't go positive and some of the negative things that can happen thereafter. And then we might talk about the prognosis for this little spot in particular. Let's talk about the why to begin with. You know the why. It doesn't really take a lot of rocket science to describe why a plant falls over like this. During the month of June, this plant is rapidly growing and developing. We go from knee tall stuff to stuff that's almost over our head in a very short period of time. And that means that the root system we have now isn't what it will be down the road. We have a less than developed brace root system. We have a nodal root system that's not going to be what it will be eventually. And when you throw saturated soil conditions in from heavy rainfall, you have a less than ideal anchoring environment for that plant. When wind comes along and attaches itself, pushes against that green, it rolls the plant over and heaves slowly that root ball out of the ground and you wind up with a plant that's looking like this. The good news in this situation is that we don't have green snap. The stock material hasn't been completely severed. We have the hardware we still need for yield. We have root material that's still intact. Even a great portion of it's still in the soil profile. We have an intact vascular system that's going to move water and nutrients and sugars around in that plant the way that we need to for yield. It has what it needs, the hardware it needs to get to yield. The pinch point is if we're right at the point of reproduction where we're silking, tasseling, establishing an ear, or trying to fill kernels. That's the point at which the plant will not upright itself after it goes horizontal like this. That's because the entire focus of the plant at that point is upon reproduction. It's upon producing offspring, kernels. It's in that mode where it's thinking entirely about yield. You can imagine how things can go negative if a plant does not recover in that reproductive period. These leaves that are rolled over act as great shields that keep the plant from getting a hold of pollen, and so they subtract kernel count from the field. That's how the story can go negative, along with a lot of moisture buildup that can establish disease and can re really cook that plant and whittle it away in really hot, hot weather. What's the prognosis for this field in particular? It's actually really positive. We're a few to several leaves removed from the tasseling period in just a few to several days, this plant will be upright again. It will be able to shed pollen, drop it on silk the way that we need to. It won't have that kind of scenario that we described just a little bit earlier. The prognosis for this field, despite a bent stalk, is really, really good, and you won't notice anything yield-wise on these plants. That's just a little perspective on when plants fall over. In case you wind up running into a little situation like this in the future, or you wind up seeing a grander version of this in years to come. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll talk with you soon.